Ready, 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 set. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. So welcome to episode 39, I think, of Virtual Boat Shopping, otherwise known as V B I gotta is. shake it up. It is episode 39. <clears throat> wow. One shy of 40 episodes. Oh, I know. That's crazy that we've done this and that some of you have been watching all of them. Oh, we love it. It is very you sweet of you. people need to get out more. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Why would you say that? Keep watching. We're doing the Great American Loop, which is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada using rivers, lakes, intercoastal waterways, and a little bit of ocean. And to do that, your boat cannot be any taller than 19 feet six inches, any deeper than six feet, really deeper than five feet. We would like four and a half. And yeah, there you go. Perfect. Anyway, we're having fun doing these and we hope you guys have enjoyed watching as well, but pretty soon we're actually going to have a boat. Yeah. So we're going to have to transition, but for the, for the time being, we thought we would look at a boat that we actually put an offer in on, we never reviewed. Um, and then we, while we were negotiating the price, we changed our mind. So let's yeah. look at it. What is it? And wait, look. What? Oh, he doesn't have to wear a mask I'm anymore. I'm alive. Yeah, he's got doing great. Got the sniffles, but. None of us got it. Making Craziness. Yes, life is good. So we actually were about to buy this boat. It uh -huh. is a, this exact boat from this listing. It is a 2005 Ocean Yachts is the manufacturer. The model is an Odyssey and it is 57 feet in length. We never actually went on this boat. We were just negotiating. <clears throat> and then I just decided. I, it, and it's yeah. $495,000. And yeah, it was our broker sent it to us and was like, check this out. And we first saw it and we were like, that's an offshore fisher fishing boat. But, but it's then. Not. It's got a little twist well, to it. And I have to throw this out here. We put an offer on this after our our the deal that we had on that we were on grasping the Johnson. Straws. Yeah, the Johnson fell through. He was really bummed because he was worried we wouldn't find anything. He just wanted to have a boat. And so went full steam on this one. It is a great boat. We're gonna point out all the great features. But then I was like, you know what? I have we have dreamed about Square doing this. Square peg round hole. We have dreamed about doing this for 15 years. I want it to be closer to our dream boat than this is. But this is an awesome boat and we'll yeah. point out why. So dive in. It could be a really unique loop boat. Mm -hmm. It just needed some judging for that, and we were ready to do it. Uh, so on the specs, she is 57 feet. Bridge clearance of 18.58, so 18.6, draft Perfect. of 483. Great. Beam of 16.7. Almost a beamy boat. Yep. Dry weight of 70,000 pounds. It's actually not very light. That's pretty good displacement. Uh, fuel tank, 893 gallons. Fresh water tank, 200 gallons. What we skipped over was what? max speed, 31 knots. Sick and buggy. <laughs> I, read the, I read the specs. It goes from nothing to planing speed in, I forgot what the term, what the time was, but it was extremely fast. Basically, this is a hot rod. And it has three staterooms and three heads. Yeah, three staterooms, three heads, and it is an enclosed pilot, not an enclosed pilot house, an enclosed flybridge. Which I wrecked, I fell in love with, I'm, I love. But it had some flaws about that aspect. Okay, so let's, let's go, let's start looking at pictures. So the dock is blocking most of it here, but there she is from the side. She looks like a sport fisher, but she's not a sport fisher. But look how cool this would have been right here. So mm -hmm. it has two decks, right? This lower deck in the next photo, you'll see it. This mm -hmm. was a huge space mm -hmm. for, for me painting, for kids playing, for all of us hanging out. It had a stair, a molded in stair that did this and then did a 90 degree and went upstairs. And then upstairs here, there's a sofa or built-in settee, there's a helm station, and then there's a door that goes into this enclosed... Pilot house. Pilot house. Or is house, it a pilot house? A pilot fly? House. A, fly a house. sky bridge. A sky bridge, is that I what it's called? I think is the term. And then the other cool part about it was it had a tender garage. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I so still love was, this boat. This was a power activated tender garage, which was awesome, but then we started researching. It's a 10 foot tender. 
We would love max a, size. We would love like a 12 minimum 13 okay. foot. So a 10 foot tender basically relates to the kind you see on the back of sailboats with a. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has a jet tender. Well, this well we would have had to buy it, and he the yeah. the, the other thing buyer is, seller wasn't really keen on selling. I just want to point out on listings. This is a picture that was taken in 2013. The date is on the photo, on a listing that you're listing in 2022. Yeah, that was a little sketchy to us too. That um, was a red flag and that should you should put in current photos. It's not that hard to take new photos. Yeah. You got a phone that probably takes them. So, shame, 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 broker. Oh. <laughs> Give us some more recent photos. So there's the back, looks great. As Tons long as, of space. Yeah. Look, you have a boarding area here. Mm -hmm. in here on both sides you have a boarding area here now another thing about this was look how bright and nice the teak looks well we think this was from 13 and not 20 <clears throat> and 22. not 20 um, so that's a little bit misleading cool features this was huge storage right here and then this was the engine room access mm hmm okay so this is up top off the the what do we call the helm up there the Sky Lounge. Sky Lounge. Yeah, so that would be awesome. Like sitting up there, drinking a cup of coffee in the morning. I love it. Yep. Uh, this door opened and swung and and uh, oh. locked, closed. But or none open. of the or open none of the windows in the Sky Lounge. Best opened we can up. tell after scouring all the photos. Okay, so this is another photo. The teak looks different here. That's why Mark said that, but that one is from 16. So this is three years, we think, after the initial photo, and look at, and it was noted by the broker, or somebody told us, you know, the teak, the faux teak, you're gonna wanna replace. So if that was five years ago now, six but, years ago now. We don't know. The picture that didn't have a date could have been current. Anyway, it's when, just when you've got old photos, it gets very confusing to me. But this is great. Look at that seating area, this table. These were lazarette storage that was long enough to fit a, like a paddle board underneath mm -hmm. on both sides, which was which cool. Which is really awesome. I still love this boat. Okay. So yeah, it looks completely different. And they've got the And there's off. tape, right? So this was, was it when it was first installed or was it just cleaned? Don't know. We don't know. And then it looks completely different here. But and that is 2016. But this is, Stairs that go up, right turn, and then up. There's also access on the inside, which is really cool. And then we're bouncing around a bit, but this is back upstairs, and this is a docking station. But it does have the heart of a offshore, offshore fishing rig. So technically, if you were backing up to catch a marlin or something, you know, you how do they do little. with it. Yeah, and it, so, that's, so cool. that's what that's for, but actually that's handy for docking. And here's the door open. So when the door is open and locked in position. That gives you your fresh air. And here is the Sky Lounge. How awesome is this? You have two chairs, right? Mm -hmm. Very commanding view. These doors on the side don't open, but like full awesome view. But there's no, our concern was one, airflow. Two, communication with her when I'm at the helm well, and she's outside. Well, that's what savers are for. And up top actually has the best airflow of any place because it's got the, the skylight and the back door. But down below, we'll look at, okay, see, th I just love this little room. Like, yeah, get so away a little settee here. This is upstairs again. Little TV, bar, sink, ice maker. Love it. It's kind of funny to revisit it. I know, I still like it. It could be a good backup. Do we post this or do we not? I think this had Detroit Diesels, because it has the Detroit Diesel, hold on. Uh, oh, MTUs. MTU Series 60s. Okay, but I'm confused. Is an MTU a Detroit Diesel? Okay, so an MTU is a Detroit Diesel. An MTU is a strictly a branding thing. Detroit Diesel Series 60 is one of the most successful diesel engines So they engines could have put MTU world. or Detroit Diesel and it wouldn't have meant the same thing. Yes, MTU was strictly for a moment, Daimler Chrysler, which is part of MTU, bought Detroit Diesel. And so it was like Nike buying Reebok and Nike wanted to flex their muscles and so they put Nike on the shoe instead of Reebok. But it was still a Reebok shoe? But it was still designed and built by Reebok. So the Series 60 is one of the most successful on-road diesel engines and all they did was take that and it make different. it for the marine industry so rather than being air-cooled 
it's water cooled by um, the water. Okay, so but bottom line is you like an uh, MTU Series 60 or a Detroit diesel. So our surveyor says Series 60 Detroit diesel is, is one of his favorite engines. Okay, carry on. It's got a tiny little steering wheel. And it has digital throttle sh shifters, so that's nice. See, so look at this huge window. I love right? that area. And you're also, you're piloting, and everybody is like, oh, this is great, we're going down there. And you're like, you know what? I'm done with watching the loop today. I'm gonna go downstairs and just do something else, right? Mm-hmm. And once again, that's a picture from 15 or 16? That's still 16. So we're still upstairs. This is glass. Look how open, uh -huh. look how big that is. Settee and then down the stairs. I love that space. All right, and here we go. We're now downstairs walking from the cockpit in. Towards the bow. Yep, snuggerific sofa. Totally. Built in uh, by Ocean Yachts, this coffee table, which has storage in there. And what's cool is this is a circular stair. What's the word I'm looking for? Spiral. See? Brain fog. COVID. Uh, spiral staircase, which we were going to wrap and rope and let the kids be so a cool. giant scratch pad. For the cats, not the kids. Okay, but anyway, here's the spiral staircase. <laughs> Galley. Snuggerific L-shaped oh, sofa. Plenty of room on the floor. Like, that's great. Now, a weird thing about this boat, when we did a virtual tour with it, the broker slash captain on it said, now I want you to want to make you aware that the salon floor does slope down about an inch from here to that aft door. Don't know why it does it, they just built it that way. Okay, well that's a very subtle slope. And we, once again, we never got on this boat. So now you're looking... See, and it's got a proper dinette, so it's got yeah. a snuggerific sofa area, it's got a dedicated dining area, and it's got a really good galley. So you're on the, so the settee here, looking forward. Mm -hmm. It checks all of our boxes, but when you are chugging along on the loop, you're seeing what's on the side of you, you're not seeing what's coming at you, unless you're up top. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's The other drawback, which we'll get to, there, underneath the rub rail, there's no port lights. There's no airflow in here or in escape. In the cabins. In the cabins. Like, you can't open a port light, you can't get let air through, you can't look through a window. You're in there, and it's almost like... Ultimately, I think that's what, why I decided this wasn't my dream boat, but it, it checks so many boxes that it would be an, a great loop boat. So it had great storage. This was a washer, uh, dishwasher. dishwasher, full-size fridge, stairs going down, and it's interesting they had the stairs offset, so then you can do, do a right turn Clyde and head aft. Right turn Clyde? <laughs> if you know the movie, <laughs> the put it in the comments. <laughs> nope. Look, what is it? Stand up, separate Dumb washer and dryer. What is it? What is it? <laughs> uh, we'll see if anybody knows in the comments and we'll tell you on the next one. Okay. This It involves a monkey. This is specifically not specifically an orangutan. This um, is the master. That is not the master. Oh, this, this is the V-birth v -birth that we were thinking we'd put the kids in because when you open up that mirror door, oh, yeah. that is the the bathroom, the head for that, and that has a It's the shower hatch. and in the shower it has a hatch which would be the escape hatch. That, wait, yeah, that's this, still the VIP. This is the VIP. VIP. But we were thinking we could very easily put two beds for the kiddos in there. This is the master. And then the master is in the back, um, but it's kind of tight. And once again, no windows. No windows, no airflow. We were like, well, if this is the upper part of the hull, like where you're walking past, on the upper deck. We're trying to figure out how to put through. windows in. I don't know how difficult that is. And while this looks, this next photo looks great for the kids, it would actually be great for our tutor. So she could have, you know, just put her stuff here and sleep on one of them. Everybody had their own bath, but this bath was across the hall. The other two were en suite. Mm -hmm. So three bedrooms, three baths, snuggerific sofa, legit dedicated dining space, great galley, Really cool up top living space. I still love this boat, but it just had a couple things that. Um, 35 miles an hour. <laughs> like, there's a storm. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, this would be a great backup boat still. I'd still do this boot, boat in a heartbeat. This boot. Are you Canadian? <laughs> but I need an updated. I'd need an updated, some updated photos. We need to get on the boat.
Well, and there's another thing that we haven't addressed was that the railings along the oh, side. Yeah. This doesn't have great walk around. That was ultimately, I forgot about that. Ultimately yeah. why. They ended right here. But then we thought, well, if we could hack this off and hack this off, and you have someone weld an extension, it would actually come around here, mm -hmm. and it would, it would actually make a fantastic loop scenario. But we've seen, I, would say, I wouldn't say fantastic. I'd say doable and way safer than it currently is. But with a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old walking around and trying to do locks, it just didn't feel as safe as I would want it to be. Anyway, that's a, it's a great option. It would be a great loop boat. There's a lot of things I love about it, but ultimately, we passed. Yeah. It's still out there. Should so, anybody want it, or should something fall apart that we're working on? But that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So fingers and toes crossed that our survey on our boat that we currently have under contract goes well, and we will be able to update you soon. Anything else? No, but we love that y'all are out there picking up trash. Yay! It makes my heart just swell with happiness. Somebody picked up four pieces of trash the other day because they knew that I was down in the basement, so they made up for it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We really appreciate you helping with that and keeping our planet clean, and we love our, your comments and suggestions, and we hope we'll have more news soon. Thanks for watching. Until then, shine, shine on. on! Have a great, happy day. Shine!